8. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lakers. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. It is Friday. It is game day. It is crazy. Folks, I I seriously last night, I don't know about you, Josh. I don't know about you. We got Rafferty holding it down in Austin. I see you, Raff, rocking the red, even though you're in enemy territory. What's happening, brother? Not too much. Just another Friday in Austin, Texas. What's that? Just another Friday in Austin, Texas. <laughs> and I'm sure they're pretty hyped there after their Longhorns took care of business last night, but we'll talk about that another time. Raph, I'm going to tell you right now, Chief. Um, I woke up at 3 a.m. Oh, boy. And used the bathroom and went back to bed. That's not the point Uh-oh. of the story. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going out and running and getting fired up for the game, maybe doing some lifting, power lifting. Oh, no, maybe dude. Maybe shooting a few hoops out in the driveway. <laughs> out the driveway <laughs> my neighbors when it came out like what the hell's going on out there ad so what happened was bro i woke up and i was like i'm not staying up right now this is the middle of the night you know like i'm not doing this um but i was just i was hyped up and went to bed at a good time man uh went back to bed got up about 4 30 started my day the workouts rest of that but that's besides the point raf this feels like a like this is so foreign <laughs> for nebraska fans you, you know what i'm saying yeah, I mean, which which kind of and, and Texas fans, Texas fans, Nebraska fans, Texas in, just kind of your emotions on it. And, and I know, it, folks, I'm a, I'm a 50 year old kid. I'm a 50 year old, five year old when it comes to Nebraska athletics, because literally, rap the last time we seen this with both teams was what year? 2014. Think about that. Ten years ago, when both teams have made it, and never. In our lifetime, has Nebraska men's won an NCAA basketball game? Today could be a magical day. And then it sets up, you know, you've got the game, you know, kicking off. Most people are getting off of work. So you're going to be able to, you know, go to wherever, you know, Buffalo Wings and Rings, you know, Mm -hmm. get to your places. It's going to be, not only will it be buzzing in Memphis with Nebraska fans, you've got to think that Lincoln, you know, has a chance to be a magical night for Lincoln. You know, um, you mentioned something, Raph, with it being a 5.50 tip-off, okay? That's going to give fans enough time to get off work, do their thing, if they're going to work. Let's be honest, man. The boss ain't even at work today, as far as that goes. <laughs> Take Friday off. He needs that yeah. Yeah, the, the boss ain't even coming in today. I mean, we know what's up. And, and real quick, we got a texture on here. Good morning to you, brother. Or my sister, what regards me be. What network is Oscar Game on? It is on TNT. The men is on TNT. And the women's game, oh, which one is that going to be? That's going to be an ESPNU. So the men's game is on TNT, and the women's game is on ESPNU there in Corvallis. The women's game is going to be 930. Uh, so if you're hanging out, partying, et cetera, uh, you know, uh, uh, be wise, you know, because you got another game after the game, you know. So 550, the men tip off on uh, uh, TNT. The women kick off uh, tip off at 930 on ESPNU. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of this, and I want to get a lot. Uh, from you fans to uh, the Husker fans of just just kind of your emotions, your feelings on it in rap. We, and we got a full show. Mon, of course, folks, he's out still on the East Coast. He's in Boston taking care of business. 
You know, think about this, Josh. Josh, you're what, 20? Okay, literally, my I think my sweats are older than you right now. Oh, I, I really <laughs> think they are. <laughs> I really think my sweats are older than well, you. Well, they're dude. holding up pretty well, I'll yeah, say they that. Are, you know, you they, know <laughs> they look pretty good. They look pretty good. The thing about it, I, I seriously think, Josh, they are probably about 17 years old, these sweats I got on, man. So you're about five when I purchased these, man. In your <laughs> lifetime, okay, look at Rico. What does Rico got there, Josh? What does he got back over there? Uh, S- Scaper in downtown Memphis. Scaper, is he on the phone? Oh, we got to take the call. Rap, we got to get this. Let's get this call. Let's, Let's do go. it. Scaper. Scaper, what's happening, brother? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, doing awesome. It's uh it's a red out. I don't see any other any other teams down here but Nebraska. That's all you see there. All the fans. All the fans are all red. Scaper, you left yesterday. You it was you and your son, right? Yep, me and Jackson. We left you- at two AM. <laughs> <laughs> made it straight down here we dedication so you guys did you guys where'd you guys sleep at uh oh we didn't sleep we just left at 2 a.m and then uh we were staying at the napoleon about four or five blocks away man that is awesome hey are you okay, okay so you left yep. at 2 a.m what time did you guys get into memphis yesterday then uh about 12 30 that is so cool man yeah that it was so awesome cool. left Left Sprague, Nebraska. So, hey, my little man Jackson wants to tell you what he did last night. Jackson, let me hear it, brother. There you go, bud. Hey. How you doing, man? <laughs> Good. So what did you do last got, night? Um, I got me to and Alex and Matt, and I got me all the basketball players. Yes. Because we, we were going to... um. A restaurant, but we didn't know they were there, so we just ended up there and we took pictures. You know awesome. what, I think you know what, Jackson. I seen Hi. you on. I seen you online. I seen you on Twitter when the restaurant with those guys, man. Oh, uh, you're kind uh-huh. of you're famous. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this guy jumped over six of us. I love it. Um, on on the side of the street, he he ran from the top, top the top of the hill and did a flip when he was jumping over. Wow! Oh wow! Street. Well, Jackson, go ahead. Have a good day. Go you big red. Go big red. <laughs> hey, thanks, baby, guys. Hey, appreciate the show. Hey, Skipper. Hey, Skipper. Skipper, yep. te- text us that picture in, too, man. Okay, we will. Skipper, thanks a bunch. You guys be safe in GBR, man. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. All right. <laughs> Young man, I'm I'm on that one. You got to love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> was, I, was, I, was I the only one when he handed the phone over and goes, tell him what you did last night? I was like, I don't know where this is going to go with Bill <laughs> Street. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if he pulled the alarm in the hotel. Yeah, or... I was like, I was like, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> hey, you know what's so cool about that is that uh, Scaper and Jackson, in particular, he's never going to forget that man. Yep. You know, it doesn't take much uh, to make a major uh, impact in a person's life, in particular a kid's life, a, a young Huster fan like that, uh, to where, yeah, that's, that's life moments. And he said, "Raph, it's a red out, man." Yeah, I mean it's. I mean, think of it. I mean, the last, what, six, seven years, Nebraska hasn't been to a bowl game. I mean, for, for football. And now you've got something of, you know, significance. I mean, these Nebraska fans, I mean, honestly, we've been, other than volleyball, and, you know, bowling and, but. You rifle, know, from, the rifle team. Rifle team. But other yeah. than that, you've, got, you've had several thousands of Nebraska fans that have been pent up for a long time, ready to to celebrate something and to, you know, to go to an event of significance. I mean, it will not surprise me tonight if Nebraska is way over, you know, more than 50% of the crowd, it might be, you know, 60, 70%. Well, you think about this ref, you, you bring up um, a great point And I didn't think about it from this, from this aspect. And believe me, I'm always, I'm not saying I'm always thinking about it. But I didn't relate it to, to correlate the two. We've not been to a bowl game since 2016. Whew. We have not been to a bowl game since 2016. Um, 
tournament you, game 2014. I mean, from the men's major events, I mean, this is kind of like the biggest thing that's happened in Nebraska since, you know, and I wouldn't even, even the last bowl game they played in wasn't exactly, you know, the greatest bowl game ever. So exactly. I would say this is probably the biggest men's sporting event that there's been in probably 10 years. I, I would totally agree, brother. I would totally agree. A few of the um, uh, the texts here. Derek in the car. Good morning to you, brother. He goes better than Christmas morning. Ad and Raf hope for a double, a double, double, a double, double. I'm with you, bro. We need the dub. We need the dub so bad in this. I appreciate you. We need two uh, dubs. We need the one out in Vegas. Yeah, that's what he said. Dub, dub. Yep, he yep, mentioned yep. dub, dub. Um, oh eight two five says I'm 29. Lived in Nebraska my whole life. Started going to men's games to the Vandy when I was four. Long time season ticket holder. I'm scared, but I think this team had what it takes to win. You know what, unknown texter, 0825, I'm going to tell you right now, I was just telling Josh before we went on the air, you were asking Josh, you know, what's your score? I have no freaking idea. I have no freaking idea uh, what the score. I, I don't care if we win by one. I don't care if it's by a buzzer beater. I just want the dub. Just get it done. Now, I'll say this. Does Nebraska give you the vibe to be the first team to win on a buzzer beater in the tournament? Because we haven't had that yet. No, we haven't yet. And I don't care how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Al says, Jackson, will probably see history go down tonight. I sure hope so. Scaper, I love the – oh, Scaper, I'm gonna, we're going to post these on the site too. Scaper, these are sweet pictures, him and you and Jackson, man. I'm going to definitely post those. Thanks for calling in. Hearing Jackson's voice was so cool. Greg from Lincoln, what's up, my man? You guys are so good. Making memories for junior Huskers. Hey, we're just glad he called in. Greg, Greg appreciate you, man. Cheer loud tonight, my brother. Um. Oh, boy. Absolutely. Uh, oh, no, this is a great point. 3597 says, I know it's basketball season, but there's a lot of Husker fans in Kansas City as well. Poor wrestling team, too. Yes, well, definitely. Yep. There's a lot of Husker fans in KC as well. We've got national champ. I'm not national champions. We've got nine wrestlers uh, there that potentially could be national champs as far as that goes. So definitely keep them going as well. Amy Williams' birthday today. Happy birthday to her. Amy, I'll, I'll definitely touch base with you guys later. Happy birthday to you guys. Uh, out in Corvallis, two-hour time difference there, 6.33 in the morning in Corvallis right now. I believe our very own Austin Orman flew out early this morning, uh, yes. heading there. Uh, so he's en route uh, to that as well. Riley, what's up? Riley Riley Dub says 80, 82 79 Huskers. I like the score. Mm -hmm. I like the score. <laughs> Folks, we have a lot coming up for you. Before we go to break real fast, remember, it is March Mayhem with 93.7 a ticket, live from Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Come watch all the games with us today. Um, there'll be prizes every hour. Uh, the, the people that got the, the ping pong balls yesterday, you know, I'm, that's going to be interesting to see how those worked out as uh, as the event goes on. But uh, there's uh, plenty of appetizers, beer buckets, beer pitchers, Coors Light, backpack cooler, all sorts of awards, uh, great food, beer price, and sports talk. I'm going to stop down today as well. Rico will be down there. I know Terrell. Of course, the captain will be there at 10 o'clock doing their things. DPJ, uh, the whole squad, Rico, Terrell. Um, Nick uh, Singer. Nick will be down there as well. So it'll be everybody. Obviously, Jake won't be there because he is in uh, Memphis right now. Him and Jake were in. <laughs> they were in Sims Hotel Room doing the show. Now, I'm gonna, and I'm going to give a shout out real fast, Rav, to Strickland and Jake. Yeah. Their flight, many of you know, and if you haven't heard yet, their flight was canceled, Josh, out of Omaha. So Rav texts me. He goes, yo, did you see the Facebook? I was like, I, I looked. I was like, yeah, they probably, I thought they were in the car heading to the airport. Rav goes, no, bro. Check Eric, check Strick's Facebook. I was like, uh-uh. So I texted Strick. He was like, yeah, dog, we drive. <laughs> so they could have easily just said, no, nope, it ain't going to work. But they knew we, they knew they that they'd made a commitment. 1890, a big shout out to them again. 1890 made a commitment to us. We honor our commitments. And I thought that was stellar that Strick and Jake said, you know what? We ride, man. We ride. <laughs> you got we two guys that care about what they do. Yeah. And you know what? I, apparently it was bad weather in Dallas where they're, they were going to have to fly to Dallas and then go to Memphis. That's what it was. So they could have got stuck in Dallas as far as that goes. They could have, but been it, written a car from there. It just got straight up canceled. So props to them. I mean, you talk about the grind going from Lincoln to Memphis. Not the easiest drive in the world. Jake got in. They said about, I, I seen a text when I woke up at three rap and Josh, they got in about 135, 140. Yeah. They did some driving. So big shout out. I to will say this though. If there was a town and a person I'd, I'd like to get stuck in a city with, I think Strick and Dallas, that wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> 
where's Raph? He ain't going to make it, dog. <laughs> Strick is like he has IVs right now in his body. <laughs> Folks, we're taking a break. It is Friday. It is game day. Men tip off at 5.50 on TNT. The women kick off at 9 Tip off at 9.30 on ESPNU. Happy birthday, Coach Amy Williams. Glad it's stricken. Jake made it safely into Memphis. In fact, th- they're both so tired. They probably thought they are walking with Elvis right now. We'll be right back. It's the drive. 93.7 a ticket. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with atomic diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how atomic diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the salmon panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Problem gambling is not just a financial issue. It's an emotional problem with financial consequences. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch merch Merch.com. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry, this deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service 
Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a slight chance of rain this morning, then probably sunny and breezy, with an afternoon high around 49. Tonight, mostly clear, and over that low around 24. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow, otherwise mostly cloudy, and a high around 45. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fuck from 93.7 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. Now back to the drive with AD, Raf, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Get it, AD. The, 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 the song I want to do, Raf. That's what I want to do. But nevertheless, it is Friday. It is game day again. Come join the team at May, uh, um, March Mayhem with 93.7 of the ticket. Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and oh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And obviously, it's going to go longer than that. At least the restaurant is close for course oh, yeah. to be open because the games don't kick in on one. We're most interested in until 6 o'clock, basically 5.50 p.m. tip off. Raf, it was interesting to see um, a lot, you know, just the, 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 the team practicing yesterday to shoot around and just watching all the games, you know, just, you know, the upsets, the blowouts, the unexpected, et cetera. And to think, and I was, we, me and you kind of were texting back this yesterday, Nebraska's in this. Yeah. You know, Nebraska's in this. What I also thought was cool was Troy Dannon, Nebraska's new athletic director, was in uh, the shoot around yesterday. What's your thoughts on that? Um, well, I, the comparison I'm going to make could upset some people, but I see it, I see it very strongly. He is a Trev Alberts type AD to where he really makes his presence felt with all the, with all the sports. Like when they hired Troy Dan and I went back, I looked at his, his Twitter X feed, you know, he was always, you know, supporting the track team, supporting the football team. He was every single sport. I, I think he's going to be one of these ADs that he's going to, I mean, he's not going to have the spotlight, but he's definitely going to be there. And, you know, whatever he can do to, to help his coaches and his athletes. And I just I just think that that that's the vibe that I like to see. It's not going to be someone that that like, what is he doing? You know, I feel like he's going to be make his presence felt. And it, it, it wouldn't surprise it, it would not surprise me one bit if, say, Nebraska wins tonight in Memphis and they win tonight in Corvallis, Corvallis. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if you see Troy Dannon show up in Corvallis at some point. Mm-hmm. You know what? The thing that I like about thanks Rico, the thing I, I love about it, man, you know, first of all, he technically didn't start until today. Technically in, per his contract, he doesn't, he was not starting until today. And uh, he found out ladies and gents that, when he got the job, he was actually in Palm Springs at a conference with, with his employer, Washington. Takes a plane, uh, they said commercial, from what I understand, takes a commercial flight uh, back up to Seattle, Tacoma, uh, then flies to Lincoln, and then tells uh, interim uh, president, Kaborak, that, hey, I want to be in Memphis. Here's why I like the timing of it. He did it on shoot-around. Yep. Did it on shoot-around. Mm-hmm. Didn't show up with a grandstand game day a here. No, did it, and technically he could have done that. You know what I'm saying, Josh? Yeah, I, I could have done that. Totally agree with you. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you're you're not because te- obviously people were allowed in, but you somewhat did it behind closed doors, yeah. which means you're not really 
seeking that attention. Mm -hmm. And that is the worst thing you can do yeah. on your first day as an athletic director mm -hmm. of a program. But mm -hmm. you hit it. You hit it on a tee. I, I liked how he was uh, he wrapped it. And, and I'm glad you agree with that. Didn't have to agree, Josh, but you see where I'm coming from. And Raph, to your point, seen but not seen. Yep. I like an AD, and this is not anything about any past AD or anything like that. That ship has sailed. I don't deal with that stuff. A good, in my opinion, the way I like it, my personal preference, my personal preference is not everyone's preferences. My personal preference is an AD is like a good ref. Seen, but you don't hear much. They're just doing their work behind the scenes. It's always got to be about the athletes and coaches. And that's why I like the way that what he did yesterday, that he went in during shoot around and he was just kind of walking through. Now, the media, of course, recognized him. He said his few bits. I'm out. Yep. I'm out. Because he technically didn't have to be there. But I was right. glad to see that what he did. He went down there, just kind of hugging her, uh, and just, just came in and said, you know what? I got to get to know who I'm working with. And, Raph, to your point, I would not be surprised if he's in Corvallis. If they advance, obviously tonight, unless he's flying a dog on, you know, <laughs> he might be flying a fighter jet. Yeah, yeah, take one of the getting, Blue Angels. Yeah, he's going to have to take a fighter jet, you know, to get there tonight. But if they advance, I would not be surprised to see him make a trip back out. You, I just just by looking back, you know, just trying to get the feel. Just he will have a. It's not going to be like you're only going to see him at football, basketball, and volleyball games. You're you're going to see him at all the different sports. So I, yeah. I I like seeing that, and I think the coaches of those sports, I think, you know, like that too. Because I mean, say what you want about Trev, Trev was at bowling matches. Trev was at you know, all Trev the was different out there. At, at kind of you you know these small the smaller sports. You know, he was there supporting you know cross country. He was everywhere. So. I think you're not going to see any drop off in that to know no, that, no. that um, Dan will be there also. I don't think you're going to see a drop off of AD attendance because uh, Trev was one of those ones to where, and I would say different than some of his predecessors, um, he was at almost everything that he didn't get his hands on. I mean, he yeah. was there. He, like you mentioned, if it was the rifle, it was the bowling, if it was a softball. In fact, I remember uh, going to the softball game and then uh, there was a softball game and baseball. He was going back and forth, you know, just going back and forth. And, you know, the thing about it, that's what you want. You want someone that's going to be active with all your sports teams, not just yeah. your, you know, your, your core ones. You want to make sure your face is there. You're mingling uh, with uh, with fans, getting the cust gauging the customer fan, uh, the, uh, the, the fan experience at your different at your different venues, but also showing those athletes and those coaches. I got you. Yeah, it's it's about setting a standard as an athletic director, right? Mm -hmm. How you feel about the other teams and the support you show. That's not only how the community is going to respond, but that's how the school will respond too. So if you only show up to basketball, volleyball, and football, you're setting the standard that that is okay Absolutely. to do. But yep. you get a guy like Daniel, you get a guy like Alberts who will go from anything, whether it's a men's or women's sport, mm -hmm. whether it's football or rifle, they will be there. They'll be there. And they'll do anything to make that happen. And you're seeing that. And that's the carryover that you exactly wanted from Alberts to Dannon is you don't want support to just, you know, waver on any mm -hmm. side. You want it to remain the exact same loyalty to all the sports and all the people. Raph, let me ask you this. You being in Austin right now, and I bring this up because a lot of people don't like Texas from Nebraska. Me neither. What's that? Said me neither. <laughs> Here's the deal. And I was talking with Jack about this yesterday. You know, Jack Russell, our guy. I don't dislike Texas. I, I don't. Do they get on your nerves? Yeah. But I don't have that despise for them like I have for, you know, that other place to the east of us. I just don't. Yeah. Because they have championships. If you have championships, I, I, I talk. It's cool. Even as much as folks don't like Colorado. Now, I would say Colorado would be second for me. But Colorado has championships. So, Raph, you being in Austin right now, Nebraska basketball uh, is trying to get is trying to do what Texas just did yesterday, and that's go out and get the, get get a dub. Obviously, it's not Texas' first dub in a tournament, ours. What's the what's the feeling there? Just kind of the overall feeling regarding their athletics, et cetera, and how would you how would you compare it to Nebraska's? Um, big difference is Nebraska is so condensed, and it's so many fans in one spot. Um, Texas, like yesterday, I mean, you have your, you have your Texas fans, but there's just so many different, you know, you have a you have Texas. So there's really no like 
I'm sure that they have locations in Texas where a bunch of like Longhorn fans got together. But yesterday you would not have known that there was a Texas game going on, you know, where we were watching the games at. There were, it was just, you'd see it like a spattering of them, but not a, not a huge, you know, contingency. Like if you're in, if you're in Lincoln and you go to Buffalo wings and rings, it's going to be full of red. If you go right. to anywhere else, it's going to be full of red in Texas. Mm-hmm. It's just so big and there's just so many different, you know, you know, you got AM, you know, Baylor, where you know, all these different schools, Texas Tech, even though it's way out west, but they, they you definitely don't have that same power that you feel, you know, Nebraska. And even like talking about Memphis, I mean, they talk about the sea of red. I mean, you, you don't see that within with I mean, there there are other like Iowa State, I know they travel well. Mm-hmm. There are other schools, but I would say Nebraska is one of those top schools that when there's a, there's an event, especially of circumstance, Nebraska shows out. Yeah, we do. We show up and we show out, and we've historically done that. You know, and that's why I, I I thought it was so important that um, that Troy Dannon was there yesterday in the time that he was. I know Sip uh, had a chance to visit with him along with the other press corps, and it was only about two minutes long, so it wasn't like he was there hogging up their time, holding co- you know holding court with them saying, you know, look at me. And I was like, hey, man, I'm here to support my my, my team. Team's plural. and get to know these guys. I know him and uh, Coach uh, Hoiberg were talking on the court prior. So it was just good to see that. Uh, I enjoyed seeing him do that. And before we go to break, we'll come back with history. But again, March Mayhem's today. Again, folks, want to keep repeating that. Come watch all the games Nebraska plays. Again, at 550, make sure you get your table plenty early because, folks, it's going to be packed in there early. Uh, don't forget the Husker women's uh, team plays at 9.30 p.m. Stick around all night. We're also giving away prizes at the top of every hour from 12 to 5 uh, today as well. Uh, there's no purchase necessary. Anyone who stops by, you'll get a raffle ticket when you sit down. Uh, price like appetizers, beer buckets, beer pitchers, and Coors Light backpack cooler. Budweiser aluminum cap. Good morning, ladies. Some Raph Rodies just walked by, Raph. Yes. Dr. Pepper Fries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doctor, in fact, they're asking where you're at. Dr. Pepper Prize Pack, 93.7. The ticket prize packs and more. First game starts at 11.15 a.m. And it's going to be a good one. It's Northwestern at Florida uh, with first Florida Atlantic <laughs> with more games throughout the entire late morning. <laughs> Great food, beer, prizes, sports talk. Buffalo Wings ring, 6 8 and 0. In fact, the one lady put a sign up and says, where's that big drink of water at? I said, well, yeah, that big drink of water is down in Austin. <laughs> 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 they want oh. that yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> big old round, that big drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, a few texts before we um, before we go to break. I want to definitely get to this one. Elise's his dad, my, he says, my wife is pregnant with number two. Man, congratulations to you and your family, brother. And she has a feeling. I like that. I like that with quotations. It's a girl. I think I have sympathy feeling, but mine is coming as feeling of a W. First of all, out forget the doggone game, brother. Congrats to you guys and uh, praying for a healthy delivery for you and your family. But I do like the feeling she has. It's going to be a dub too, though. I do like that. Hey, hey, Ron. Good morning to you, man. He goes. <laughs> Dan and took Strix flight. Sorry, bro. You got out right. <laughs> 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 Looks like you'll be driving to Memphis. <laughs> Taking a long way. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least with with Elise's dad's wife being pregnant, that sounds like we have another viewer coming. So that's good to hear. That is great, man. Big congrats to you guys, man, and, and prayers for a safe delivery and all that good stuff that comes along with it. Folks, we're going to read a lot of your texts when we come back. But first, we got history. We'll get to that. And we got a lot of brackets to talk about. And the team in Oakland. And just in case you're thinking, it ain't the Oakland you're thinking of. We'll be right back, folks. It's a drive. We got Rav holding down in Austin, that big drink of water. We got my man Josh on the ones and twos. We're here at the Mothership, 93.7, the drive. We'll be right back. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it. 
and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and 0. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry, this deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. <gasps> The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. My dream was to work in commercial banking but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite. And we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. People always ask, what are Jake and Sip like when they're off the air? Well, the answer probably won't surprise you. Hey, Jake, your Honda's looking a little dirty. Says the guy whose license plate is barely visible. I mean, do you even care about that thing anymore? It gets a little uncomfortable. Now, that's when I jump in. Hey, whoa, Mark, did you get a new car? Nope, just took my car down to Nebraska Auto Detail. Joe and the staff made the outside and the inside look amazing. Maybe you guys need to go. Okay, wise guy. Settle down, Jake. Book your appointment today at NebraskaAutoDetail.com. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. 
Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. Hi, Husker fans. It's Matt Davison with 1890. Coach Hoiberg and his program have had an exciting season so far, and many of you have helped Husker hoops along the way by contributing to 1890. Let's keep it going and give Coach Hoiberg the best opportunity to succeed for many years to come. Visit 1890nebraska.com and contribute today. And remember, 100% of your contribution goes directly to Husker student-athletes. When you teach your children how to set and reach goals, you'll do more than just help them succeed in school. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Motivation and goal setting build confidence, and it's still a drive that will benefit children their entire lives. It will also help them become more positive thinkers. Working together, parents and teachers are a powerful team for student success. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Raffi, it is water. Drink of water. water. Raffi, drink of water. <laughs> I got to read this read, AD, for the Let's first hour. We Let's were sponsored do it. by Sandhills Global. Sandhills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. And boy, oh, th- this past break was awesome. I'm not going to lie. Why is that? I um, went out, break. Chrissy and Nick are sitting out in the living room. Uh, Yeah, Chrissy made omelets. Um, So you eat one right now? Oh, I already ate it. It was so good. (laughs) Oh, my. Did you eat it or you just swallow it? I I inhaled it. (laughs) I mean, I I don't know if you remember a few years back, me and Chrissy did our cooking show. It was was nationally acclaimed. That's right. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry Souffle and Chris Caviar. We tried to take over the country in late night, late night cooking shows. But. Big shout out to Chris and Nick. I know she she is a chef. She she can cook. I know that oh, yeah. fact. Just hearing from you, man. And Rap- omelet, and I think it was somewhat healthy omelet too. So healthy. Me. Too. There you yeah. go, man. I like omelets. I can get with those. And and Ryan Hutzel, you knucklehead. Doctor Pepper <laughs> will be served. You bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some people. Oh, man, get your mind out the gutter, Huts. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown Texture 5268, good morning to you. Yes, indeed, we're going to read this earlier, uh, the stats for this earlier, because I did my notes, but you, you, you beat me to it, so we're going to read it right now. Unknown Texture 5268, I want to give a shout-out to the Husker wrestling team. Good luck in this morning's quarterfinals. They are in the quarterfinals down there in KC. Seven out of the eight wrestlers moved on to this morning's quarterfinals from last night. If they win... When they win, they're in the national semifinals tonight. Hashtag stronger together. Hashtag GBR. Hashtag Husker wrestling and hashtag. Thank you for sending that in on unknown text. I appreciate it. Yes. Coach Manning. The thing about this, you guys, this is coach Manning is one of those coaches along with cook. Of course, that just are steady every year. And I know that wrestling doesn't get the, um, as much as the exposure, of course, is volleyball and football and the basketball, some of their sports. But Coach Manning has been doing this thing year in and year out. He just simply gets it done. And so a big shout out to the wrestling team. And his wife, Carrie Manning, kicks my tail occasionally at Farrell's at FXB when she teaches. When I walk in, Raph, we see, and she has that beautiful, sweet smile. She's always she's so pleasant. Good morning, guys. I'm like, oh my gosh, we have the assassin teaching this morning <laughs> <laughs> and she's from oklahoma we let that slide she's from oklahoma so she is an ou fan but nebraska yeah. but ou's in her heart still as well but big shout out to the wrestling team there coach many you guys i appreciate you uh so much uh unknown texture 5078 says ad is chipper today sounded like the black shirt singing <laughs> number 435 <laughs> absolutely absolutely 
what we got well, folks real quick we got a legal id that's coming in right here this is lincoln's home for sports talk on the fm dial also online at the ticket on the internet kntk fm first 93 7 the ticket Disc, just, disc Golf Jake says he is convinced that Coach Manning looks like – I'm trying to wait for it to come up here on my text line. I'll come back to a Disc Golf Jake. He goes here, looks like a Steve Martin with a silver fox flow. <laughs> it's, it's a point of contention in my house. <laughs> Houday Trav, what's up, man? He goes, the, uh, the Manning family is amazing. Big shout out. Absolutely, Houday Trav. Uh, they are – we've known them for years. They're neighbors of ours, and – um uh, their boys, their 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 oldest son and my son, uh, Keenan, are the same age. So they're just they're just solid people, man. You meet some people that are cool, and you meet some that are amazing. In the Manning family, it's just amazing. Just very humble, laid back people. We got some history, Raf. I know you got we some do. too. Oh yeah, that one you sent me. I don't know if you're going to see that or not, so I don't want to put you out there. But if you do, that's pretty cool too. But whatever you got. But what I have here for is in history, and it is basketball related. And somewhat comical, in my opinion, <laughs> that it's, that's related to this. Um, let me get this. I pulled it down for a second here. Let me pull this back up here. And um, dang it, Raph, you go ahead. My mind try to reset itself. Go ahead real quick. Bro. All right. 1989, Commissioner Pete Rosell announces his retirement as the NFL commissioner of the NFL, which. What year was that? 1989. Dang, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Yeah, you know, like growing up, Pete Rozelle, I mean, that was sort of like he was the man, I guess you'd say. And it's crazy to think that, you know, you've had um, Roger Goodell, Paul Tagliabue, and, but Pete Rozelle is pretty much, he was one of the original godfathers of k- k- starting the NFL way back. He was one of those guys that was sitting in the mo- on the Model T in Canton, Ohio, trying to construct the National Football League. So he had quite the quite the legendary career that's for sure man he was monumental for a long time for the nfl i tell you what merged that he was Raph, he was the one that merged all the uh, merged the leagues wasn't he yep he did that back in 68 i believe it was 68 mm-hmm. or 67 right around there and being seven years after art Modell, we talked about it purchased the, <laughs> the cleveland, cleveland, browns. cleveland browns for a record 3.5 million <laughs> But like, like we always say, he might have bought him, but John Elway owned him. Oh, you could. Oh, man. <laughs> it always comes back. <laughs> Raph, you were doing good, man. I wanted, to, doing I, good, I, I, wanted to be, I wanted to be chipper like you today. And what's the one thing that makes me chipper? John it Elway. Should, it shouldn't. <laughs> it should, well, it does. It does. Let me be happy. I have Jared let, Stidham at quarterback. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you had a stigma at quarterback. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got that. Probably got that too. <laughs> well, in Husker history, this was funny, dog. It's funny because it relates to basketball. In 1974, the Nebraska football coaches played against the Husker football seniors. And they played the game. And Coach Tom Osborne, assistant Monty Kiffin, Warren Powers, that's a guy you haven't heard in a long time, Raph, is it? Oh, yeah. Guy Ingles and Southeast head coach Wally McNaught and a yeah. sort of other ringers played a benefit basketball game at John to Jim against last year's Big Red Seniors, 1974. The yeah. scoreboard credited the players with a 76-75 victory. A double check of the scoreboard showed that it was actually a 75-75 tie. And you assistants Cleet Fisher and Mike Corgan reached the coaches uh, coach the coaches who were paced by Ingles with 22 points. Look at this, Raph. Coach Osborne, a standout at Hastings, chipped in 14 points, while Kiffin, a standout at Prep Cager at Lexington, added nine more. Fullback Mari Dam Kroger, who sparked Lincoln Northeast with two Class A state championship titles, led the players with 13 points, while Bob Wolf scored 11. Daryl White, Frosty Anderson, Sif, Steve Runty, and Brent Long were among the standouts. 1,200 people. I'm thinking this. How good were the seniors? You're banging it out with your coaches on the basketball court, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Coach Osborne was out there talking about let it rain, Dad Gummit. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. Do you think Coach Osborne got a technical foul that night, or you know that was To in his feisty years too? And think here's the thing about To, man. Was anybody there that night that can give us a give us a report? That's what we with, need. With, with 1,200 in attendance, 
Somebody has to be listening. Somebody, to that yeah, game. Let me ask my listening got to be live because obviously at that time, let me see. In um, if this was in March of '74, uh, I was two. I mean, two months old. Actually, a month and a half old. So I, you I, know, wasn't, I, I wasn't even born yet. Yeah, you weren't born to May, so you weren't even born when this game took place. I was. Were you born yet, Josh? <laughs> uh, I was like negative. Oh God, negative, negative thirty-ish. Yeah, <laughs> negative a lot. <laughs> So Coach Osborne would have probably been about 37. Yeah, yeah he would have been something with, like yeah. that. He was still putting in work on the court, though, man. Yeah, I can see it. Still but you got to think back in the day, you know, like back, you know, in the, I don't know, early 2000s, the 90s, you know, always the coaches playing, you know, at Devaney, like Wednesday nights and stuff like that. You got to think Coach Osborne probably did that back, you know, in the 70s, probably. He was I know probably he going on basketball back then. Going over to the Coliseum and running three on three. I'm going to tell you on the coaching staff of the head coaches that can hoop that I've seen firsthand. I think you may play with them too. Coach Cook can hoop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Coach Cook can hoop. I played with Coach Cook a lot of times over at the Coliseum at the rec center. And Coach Cook, he he, he has the same demeanor on the court. He is a smooth customer, but will (laughs) assassinate you from the corners. And, and, And got a nice shifty low post game too. And can and he he's he, he, think about him. He's got eyes over. So he'll make a pass. But like where in the world did he even see that guy coming from? But Coach Coach, Coach can ball though, man. He can play some ball for sure. Folks, hey Mark from Cook. Mark from Cook. Good morning. He goes, were Josh's parents born yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, hey, they were. How old are your parents, man? Uh, my mom was born in '61, and my dad was born in '57. Okay. Oh, yeah. Were you a whoopsie? No. You weren't a whoops. No, I'm a miracle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, far from a whoops, man. You <laughs> <Josh Kent. laughs> and I ended up being like three and one. Were you? <laughs> yeah, I'm a handful. You don't I want thought, me living with you. I thought you might have been a whoopsie, like whoopsie. Nope. <laughs> hey, because <laughs> hey, my brothers always tease me and my sisters when they get mad. Like, you know, you was, you know, you was kind of an accident, right? I'm like, what, what do you mean accident? They were like, they didn't plan on having you, dude. I'm like, what you mean? I remember going to my mom one time. They said that I was an accident. What's the accident? They, boy, if you don't shut your mouth, he wasn't no accident. He was blessed, and God gave him to us a miracle. That's what they said, <laughs> man. But, yeah. I tell you which one of ours was a whoopsie, though. We weren't expecting Keenan. I'll tell you that much. He wasn't AD, a whoop- little, mm-hmm. little AD was not happy about it. Man, little AD was pissed. <laughs> we told, we told, I'll never forget telling Aiden, Aiden, you're about to love a little brother. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, this Gulf J said, this dude said, nah. I'm a miracle. Talking about you, yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes, that's youngest child energy all day. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we come back. We want to hear how your bracket is doing. Is it broke or is it still moving on? Is it broke? Is it still moving on? We're going to talk about it, man, because there were some shockers last night. We're going to talk about that school in Oakland. We're not necessarily talking about the one on the West Coast either because they shocked and rocked and caused chaos in brackets. We'll be right back, folks. It's The Drive, 93.7 a ticket. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. For Sean Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be ready. 
are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and digital insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at GainaTrucking.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. On the block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't lay over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It would definitely on, on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown. And I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20-year run of the Patriots. Not five, six years. 20 year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at the ticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 937 the ticket. Welcome to the drive with AD Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches college football history we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight 12-year nfl veteran he's got some speed to go with strength huskers and green bay packers hall of famer shovel pass to green into vikings territory finally brought down and university of nebraska e-sports coach amon green look at green all by himself 20 
sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We are back. <laughs> it is Friday. It is game day. Husker women tip off at 9.30 ESPNU. The men tip off at 5.50 p.m. on TNT. And, of course, you can watch that uh, with the 93. 93- 93.7 The Ticket Crew, March Mayhem, Buffalo Wings, and Frings, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Come watch all the games, folks. Get a table early because, again, that men's game it tips off at 5.50, and it will be packed because the team will be there actually shortly uh, getting things set up. I don't know my man Nick. Uh, Big Swim will be taking care of business. I miss, I miss my man Nick, too, man. Nick's been – Nick's been oh, Rico's like, so what am I – Rico's look over there. <laughs> Now, Rico, those two, those two don't have to be mutually exclusive. They don't have to be because I miss Nick that I don't that I don't like you, man. Rico, come oh, on in. I gotta, let me put him on my lap and burp him real quick, man. Oh, <laughs> Rico, I love don't, you too. Don't try to cover your tracks now. No, I'm not don't try to. Tracks. You already said. You already said. You said okay. what you said. You so, said. No. You, you said what you said. <laughs> So let me ask Take you your I name guess. out of his keep, mouth. Keep, Rico's, Rico's like, keep my name out your mouth. Exactly. So Rico, when Ridiculous. you miss when you miss one of your kids, doesn't mean you miss your other kid any less. So if you miss well, K- usually when so I K- usually so if you miss KJ, huh? You're the kid. I forget you're the uh, Elliot. Does that, does that mean it doesn't mean anything any less towards Elliot. Usually when I miss my kid, I miss my kids because they're both gone. But sometimes you have one and not the other. No, I don't. <laughs> and you guys are young enough to be my kids, so it's like I miss my little brother Nick. No, you don't. It doesn't mean it doesn't negate the fact that I don't. I love Ridiculous. you any less. Rico. Ridiculous. No, I'm do you, hurt. Do you want me to burp you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I got a little gas bubble. I got a gas bubble. Oh boy. Stuck, on, stuck in my insides, and I need help getting it out. You need one of those little towels to Peter put over, over here. Just like I'm over here crying because I need to be burped. And you're just looking at Nick sitting in his bouncer because he's younger than me. And Rico's just choking over here. So he's not even he's not even in a walker. He's just in the bouncer. And you're just watching him like, oh, my gosh. Look at him. His legs are so strong. He's so amazing. No, and I'm just man. like, help me. <laughs> Ridiculous. I love my Rico. I love oh. my Nick. I love my Josh. I love the whole squad. Love Bill. Love all you guys, man. Ooh. I will just make it a statement. Ooh, nice cover. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten recovery. Ridiculous. Can't stand <laughs> you sometimes. <laughs> hey, you look at kind of like you. I appreciate. You. I appreciate the kind of like from Rico. We, folks, just give just give Rico a radio clap where you're at. Just give him a radio clap where you're at. Like give himself a radio clap where you're at. There we go. <laughs> you guys, it is Friday. And um, there's a lot going on. I am. I know Raph is stoked. I'm stoked. Josh is stoked. Uh, Newt, what's up, Newt? Newt says, truly feels like Christmas morning. The positivity of your show makes it even better. Good word, Jess, man. Appreciate you, Newt, man. Cheer loud tonight. Have a great Friday. Whatever your Friday entails for you, Newt. So appreciate you, brother. Raph, were you shocked by some of the games yesterday? Oh, yeah, it was shocked how quickly i was eliminated from bracket contention i mean that was Would you kind say? of entertaining for, i was shocked how quickly i was eliminated from my bracket this year i mean <laughs> usually i make it at least until like the second week and then it's gone but kentucky single-handedly said goodbye you're done get out of here it was a you know there's something that's interesting um that kentucky's coach that he said yesterday. A lot of things he said in yesterday, yesterday, but um, I'm trying to find this real fast to myself. I was texting it to myself. This would be John Calipari, right? It, yeah, John Calipari. Yep. But Villanelle Co. Jay Wright said something that was very powerful, okay? And this is what he said. And if you remember Jay Wright, the last he retired after they won the national championship when he was at Villanova. Now, folks, take a listen. T- actually, not take a listen. You can listen to it, of course. But he says the era, and he's talking about Calipari in uh, Kentucky. The era of taking these young freshmen and trying to play against older players is over. I think he did a phenomenal job with these guys all year. You can see they're playing against grown men. The guys on Kentucky will be far better pros than any of these guys on Oakland or any of these guys in the tournament, but they're not good, good college ball players yet. At this point in their careers, they're not as disciplined as the guys for Oakland. It's not Cal's fault. 
It's they're 18 years old, and they're in this era where everyone is telling them how great they are. I'm going to repeat that. They're in an era where everyone's telling them how great they are. Just show up in college, and you're going to win. doesn't happen that way. And more guys stay in college because of NIL. It's going to be tougher for young teams like this to be successful. How, when you hear that, Josh, mm-hmm. when yeah. you hear that, uh, uh, Raph, I thought Jay Wright was spot on. Yeah. And do you think do you think COVID's played into that a little bit too? Because now you've got these seniors that are like 24, 25, 26 years old that the age, just the age difference. Like back in the day, for instance, you look at like Henry T. Buchanan. So Henry would Henry when Henry was in college, I think he was 26, I think. But even after he graduated he went to the military first. Yeah. And after he graduated from from the university, he still was playing, you know you know, three on three, five on five and winning championships. And these young guys would come in. They probably were more talented than, than Henry just because they were younger, but Henry was still able to beat them just because of his age and age and experience. And I just, I, with COVID and now you got these guys that are older like that, you just wonder that just having such an age gap, if that makes a difference. I'm going to come back to that. Josh, what do you think on that? Yeah, I think, Jay Wright, obviously spot on. And what I kind of compare to with programs like Kentucky right now is it's almost like AAU ball, right? Mm -hmm. When you're going into college, when you go to play AAU, it's really about showcasing your abilities, right? What you can do on the one-on-one fronts. And you're seeing that with the Kentuckys, the Dukes. And that's why they don't necessarily get far. The more experience you have, you're going to have a better chance at winning. And, you know, even look at programs like take Virginia, Back in 2019, right? Mm -hmm. ACC team. Guys stay four years. You know, if I don't think it's bad to have a couple one and dones on Mm -hmm. your team. Because I do think you need that spark of just phenomenal talent. But you need guys that have been around the block. Because that's what getting to a championship point is all about. Mm -hmm. You know, you you can't just get there on a whim. And that's the problem. And you're, you're right. And Jay Wright, all you guys are right in that sense. Where what's instilled in these players nowadays is, oh, if you go to Duke, team up with a couple guys, you, you know, you'll make the final four. But that that's not necessarily how this process goes. Those days, and Raph, I'm going to tell you this, and, and Josh, you're spot on with that, in that those days are gone. And I thought Jay Wright was spot on. Raph, I'm going to, here's the thing about with, with, with Henry T. Buchanan. Henry T., it'd be Bernard Day. He would get sometimes Morgan Gregory. There were times he had Bruce Chubbuck. He would, be, he would be bring, uh, even bring back Eric Williams, E-Dub. And we would play against those guys. So it'd be like me, Akum, Silk, you know, um, um, oh, goodness. We'd bring Cedric Brown. And we were like, literally, because I'm 50, Henry T is 62, okay? He was 12 years older than us. So we'd be 20, he'd be 32, and Bernard and those guys, and they would still run us off the court. The only, we beat them one time, I'll never forget, at Southeast Community College. We finally slayed the dragon. We finally beat those guys. But it took us at that point. I think he was dang me 68 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah, y'all finally got us. But to your point, you bring it back to Jay Wright, uh, the former Villanova coach, talking about John Calipari in uh, Kentucky. Raph, I think I would say some part of that is true with some of those guys having a COVID year. But the thing about it is, even if they didn't have a COVID year, those guys are 18. Some of those guys are 17, 18 years old, very athletic. But like we talked about with Coach Osborne, those guys in that tournament where the coaches played against players, they have more wisdom. They have more wisdom. And you can have all the athletic ability you want. You better beat a team like Oakland immediately because the longer you let them stay in the game, exactly why Kentucky is back home in Lexington this morning. Mm-hmm. That's the reality. And so when you have players like that, um, that one and done that Raph, I think because of that NIL and, and he, he hit it spot on the head. Yeah. Players are going to stay longer. Now you can get these great recruiting classes, but I tell you what, you're going to be getting bounced like they have now t- check this out. This ain't the first time that, um, you, you, you think about, um, um, Oh, Kentucky. Kentucky. This is not the first time they bounce. You look yeah, at they, your, they've been going early. Oh, yeah, they've been getting knocked out year after year after year. I think they're one in three in their last, including uh, going into this year, they're one in three. They were three one in three going year. into this year. So now they're one in four. One in four. So they've gotten one win in the past four years. Four years. Raph, but he, 
and even Coach Cal too, he kind of changed his like he wants to win championships, but he kind of flipped over to he just wants to make his guys millionaires, you know, and get them in the NBA as quick as possible. So I although like you said, he's trying to decide, you know, should he change his ways or because he says he can't be upset about, you know, making these guys multimillionaires. So well, yeah, what she is going to do, including himself, and anybody talking about what he, the money he's making, these kids, these players, which is totally legal now, he's making them a lot of money. I mean, there, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. But these people talking about, well, when are you gonna, we're going to fire Calipari, yeah, good luck with that. You are not firing Calipari. You know, that, that is not going to happen, okay? Because you think about this, okay, here it goes. In 2020, they didn't even make the NCAA tournament, talking about Kentucky. In 2021, they missed the NCAA tournament because obviously because, you know, COVID, there was none in 2020. Lost number 15 seed in round of 64. Lost the number three seed round of 32 and 23. 2024, lost a 14th seed round of 64. I mean, that's just reality. And here's also reality. Anybody thinking that he's getting rid of, you're getting rid of Calipari, good luck with that. Um, Kentucky gave him a lifetime contract. You can't afford to fire him. He pays, you pay him $9 million a year. Nine million. His buyout is something astronomical. He's not going anywhere. So, in fact, the guy there was a guy on Twitter last night, Raph. I don't know if I sent that to you or not. Um, <laughs> that was saying, I'm not going to say everything that he said because it's not appropriate for the radio. But basically, saying he better never show his face uh, back in Kentucky, and he put some other things on that related to some things that happened in America. Yeah, and yeah. people were tagging the FBI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah, they they take their basketball serious in Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, and Raph. Think about this, Chief. I'm heading to Lexington, Kentucky, Sunday morning, okay? I speak for them Monday. I'm probably not going to bring anything up about Kentucky. Because, but it's split down there because it's Louisville and Kentucky. But there's a lot of Kentucky fans from the meeting oh, player totally. told me. Because when I talked to her just the day before yesterday, she goes, oh, we're pumped for the game. And we plan on going far. And I'm just going to say, <laughs> when I take the stage Monday, you think I ought to say, how about Oakland? Oh God! Stir it up a little bit, AD. Stir it up. No, I won't get paid. <laughs> and I leave there to go to Seattle. Obviously, yeah, in Tacoma. Where if I'm you say stay. that, you probably won't even get on the plane, AD. Oh yeah, well, I won't make it to the plane, bro. Rav, how is your bracket totally done? Yeah, pretty much. I had Kentucky going to the finals, so they're. I mean, I'm done. Done. There's no way that. And I picked Connecticut to win it, so everybody picked Connecticut. So I'm done. I'm finished. It was a good run. I enjoyed it. But, you know, you look at today's games, and we, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back because we're going to talk about the women, our team, and what they need to do tonight to win. Uh, the, today's games, you got Ford Atlantic taking on Northwestern at 11-15. That's on CBS. You got Baylor versus Colgate. I'm going to say this right now. And I got Baylor going going a long way. In one of my brackets, I got them winning the championship because I'm maybe hoping to get them getting blown out by Iowa State, woke them up. They play Colgate 1140. San Diego State takes on UAB at 1245. Marquette versus Western Kentucky at 1. UConn versus Stetson at 145. You got Clemson versus New Mexico. New Mexico is going to be a squad, too. At 2 p.m., 2 10 p.m., Auburn versus Yale at 315. You got Florida versus Colorado. Um, that's going to be at 330. You got, of course, Nebraska taking on the Aggies at 550. Duke versus Vermont at 6'10". Purdue versus Grambling at 625. Alabama versus College of Charleston at 635. Houston versus Longwood. Knicks team at 820. Wisconsin versus Jay Madison at 840. Utah State versus TCU. The Horn Frogs at 855. And the St. Mary's, the Gales. Grand Canyon at 9.05 p.m. It is going to be a shot. And, of course, the ladies, our Lady Huskers, take on Texas name at 930 in Corvallis. Folks, we'll come back and talk about all things Husker basketball because there's a lot to discuss. If you haven't looked at Twitter yet, you got to check out the men's Husker basketball video that gives you goosebumps. If you got a minute and 30, take a chance to look at it. It's pretty special. It's the drive. We got Rav holding it down in Austin. We got me and myself, Josh, here at the mothership. 93.7 the ticket. We'll be right back. Spring is on its way. Are you prepared to keep the grass greener on your side? Blades Lawn and Landscape has a position open to add a homeowner association to their client list with residential and commercial openings also. Transform your yard into a private oasis with the professional services offered by Blades Lawn and Landscape, including landscape walls and beds and a five-step fertilizer program applied by a licensed professional. 
Call them today at 402-730-6320 or go to bladeslcc.com to schedule a free estimate on commercial or residential lawn services. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a slight chance of rain this morning, then probably sunny and breezy, with an afternoon high around 49. Tonight, mostly clear, and overnight low around 24. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow, otherwise mostly cloudy, and a high around 45. I'm meteorologist Kyle Tucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric brings exciting career opportunities for you or someone you know. They are now hiring plumbers, electricians, and HVAC techs and installers to continually build their professional team. They offer competitive pay and full benefits packages that include health, dental, vision, PTO, and 401k options. Action has created a positive team environment for over 50 years. Apply online at actionlincoln.com. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions, and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round, and their strong team culture makes it not a job but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and dental insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at GainaTrucking.com. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. 24-7 threat monitoring. Expert tech support. Streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security. Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications. Cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. Hi, Husker fans. It's Matt Davison with 1890. Coach Hoiberg and his program have had an exciting season so far, and many of you have helped Husker Hoops along the way by contributing to 1890. Let's keep it going and give Coach Hoiberg the best opportunity to succeed for many years to come. Visit 1890nebraska.com and contribute today. And remember, 100% of your contribution goes directly to Husker student-athletes. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray. 
on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Folks, it is Friday. It is game day. It is March Madness. There's mayhem all over the place with this. And there was a particular text that really caught my attention. I thought it was, was spot on. Jordan P., good morning to you, my man. You said he's such a good coach. He's talking about Calipari. But even with a good coach, what, three months before the season, he gets to know the kid. It isn't enough time to implement, and you know the chiseled product. And I think you're spot on, bro, in that these kids were um, young men, if you would. I call them kids because I'm old. But these young <laughs> men, <laughs> that, that's not a lot of time. I'm uh, not a lot of time, Raph. And I think Jordan P. comes with a great point. You think about this, Raph. I mean, to his point, okay, you get these guys in the summer. Okay, that's fine. July, they're playing summer camp and things like that. But you got August, September, October, November, and your season's rolling. You don't even really – you're getting to know these kids in the first year. You're yeah. literally getting to know – and then they're gone. They're gone. I mean, so I, I, I really love that point, Jordan P., because it's something to where you have to have some senior leadership somewhere. Somewhere. At least a few juniors on your squad – but when you have so many freshmen and inexperienced sophomores who haven't played a lot because the previous class was so successful and so talented, you're constantly playing guys that don't have a lot of time playing with grown men. That's just my thought. Jordan P., I thought that was a great point, man. That was a great point. Now, I got to read this real quick. Hour two, we're proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit doorsplusllc.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Cheeseburger, good morning to you, brother. He goes, look at wrestling. You can be gifted beyond belief, but from high school to college, the mental toughness makes athleticism void. You're spot on there. That's why you don't see a four-year champ happen that often. Possible, but you better grow up real quick. Another one that's dead on, Cheeseburger, man. Another one that's dead on. Raph, tonight's keys to tonight's uh, men's game, man, is crucial. Uh, which, which, here, here's the thing about this. They have, they have two guards that are, that are dangerous. Very dangerous. Junior guard, uh, Wade Taylor IV. Uh, he is um, he leads the Aggies in scoring 18.9 a game and four assists, but he attacks the basket, Josh. Raph, he attacks the basket with reckless abandon, and he draws a lot of fouls. The other guard, he's not as uh, – other guard, his name is Tyrese Radford. Doesn't facilitate like Taylor does, but he's smooth. He's a very smooth customer, and the thing about him, he gets to the rim. And he's deceptive because he's not a real tall dude. I think it's six, I don't know, six three, maybe six two, maybe six four, give or take. But he crashes the boards very hard. And Raph, their big guy, who's number 15 in the country, is Anderson Garcia. And his 15.4% offensive rebounding it rates him 15th in the country, which means Rank, Mast, and Gary are going to put a body on him at all times. Your and Josiah. Key, what's up? And Al. Yeah. What is your, what's your, what just, what, when you look at this game, what, what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for Nebraska to play their game, um, be loose and not come out and I guess don't psych yourself out before the game even starts. Cause I think if Nebraska plays their game, they will win. But, um, the, you said the guy who draws the fouls, you know, draws a lot of fouls. We've seen that with Shannon. So oh, yeah, that's Tyrese Radford. Chance. Tyrese Radford is a beast, man. He is a beast. Okay. And Wade Taylor is is they're just their front court. I'm sorry, their back court is is lethal. Okay. Is lethal. So go ahead, brother. Yeah, and just and, and the hustle, the boxing out. I mean, following some shots, just just playing, just playing good, smooth, fun, and and turnovers. Not you've got to cut. The, there can't be a ton of turnovers. I, I I will be worried if Nebraska goes in at halftime and they're they're up around nine or ten turnovers in the first half. That won't be a good look for Nebraska. So mm-hmm. just play, you know, just just play the basketball what they where they've been most successful. The, the the key thing for me is the shooting. Like hopefully that they had a good shoot around yesterday and it it matched because you know with different gymnasiums. Sometimes it just doesn't match your eye right, and you don't shoot as well. Hopefully, they had a good shooting day yesterday, and they'll they'll come out and they'll be they'll be hot from the field. And 
if they can get those three pointers drop and then watch out Nebraska will be trouble tonight. Mm-hmm. R- what do you think, Josh? Yeah, I got a few. So I think the first thing is between rank mass, Josiah Alec and Jawan Gary, neither one of them can have more than two fouls we going into get, the second we half. We not no. get into foul trouble. Now you, Great point. You're going to have to play physical. You are going to pick up fouls. Yep. That's the bottom line, but it cannot exceed to heading into the second half. I also think, I think we, it's fair to assume that Jamarcus Lawrence and CJ Wiltshire are coming off the bench. Each of them needs at least eight to 10 points. Um, if you don't go into that game and your bench isn't producing, you're going to get tired because uh, let's, let's look at this on paper. Let's look at this on film. Texas A&M is the more physical team. You're going to need all the help you can get in this eight-man, nine-man rotation that Fred Hoiberg runs. You're going to need your two best guys coming off the bench to score, so eight to ten points. And Tominaga, if he doesn't have at least ten going into the second half, you start to get a little worried, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd say those three are pretty big for me. Let me ask you guys, uh, speaking of Casey, there's been a lot of, and well-deserved, talk and discussion about Casey. Do you fear him coming out trying to force it early? Um, I I think he, I think he'll, he'll be fine just because he's kind of had this on his shoulders for so long, you know, being compared to Steph Curry. But um, what about rap? Okay, that's true. But what about when the? I mean, this is a different beast, though. Yeah, but he's played in the Olympics. I mean, he's had. Mm-hmm. He's had those moments. I don't. I don't think he's going to be bothered by it. The only thing I may maybe. Maybe if he misses a few early, he maybe maybe try it. But he it seems like he's been a lot better this year when he's not. He realizes when he's not hot and he doesn't, you know, can, I think he has more belief in this team this year that he knows other guys can pick up for him if he's not hot. Because like he says, if that first one goes in, that basket gets bigger. But No, so here's, I, here's what I'm going to say to agree with you on that. And Raph, I think, I think I was waiting for you to say something to let me validate what you just said. Okay, if that makes sense to you. Yep. Against Indiana, remember, he wasn't hitting a lot outside at first. Yep. Then he got hot and because th- he was then he was he was doing shots off the glass. He was doing turnaround jumpers. He started driving to the cup. Then that opened up the long bombs as well. So to yep. your point, I wrap up to your point. I think he's grown and matured and realizing, listen, it doesn't have to be something from the logo. Exactly. I can go and settle for a 12 foot jumper, go to the cup, off the glass. That's the part that makes me feel more comfortable. And I asked the question because if this would have been K-Say of last year, I'll even say this, K-Say of four months ago, K-Say of three months, K-Say in maybe uh, November. You would maybe see it in early December, put it that way, late December. You would maybe see him enforce some of those things. You could, we've literally watched him mature in front of our eyes. Yeah. You know? We saw him mature the thing, in front of our eyes. The thing, too, with K-Say, too, is I know he gets a lot of, you know, attention for his shooting abilities and – for his scoring, but that's not Casey's greatest strength. His greatest strength is moving around without the ball because he puts the defense in so many bad situations just by moving. I mean, he does not stop running. If you get a chance to watch the game tonight, just watch Casey without the ball and the stress that he creates for the opposing team's defenses, which then in part opens it up for the other players. So I, I sometimes I feel like Casey don't get enough credit for just the basketball not just the you see the shooting, but you just don't see the complete game that he's he's really added to his repertoire over the last couple of years. Well, he's he's become a better facilitator, and you can tell his court IQ has improved quite a bit. Yeah. And that was something that I mean, last year and and last year's team had a, you know, obviously they had a hell of a run, but there were times on the court you're like, what? And the turnovers were just oh, atrocious, God. and and that killed us last year because a team that should have been in a tournament, their turnovers killed them almost every game, and also the free throw shooting was uh, was not as well. But this is this year. Um, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I think for Nebraska, of course, we mentioned KSA Tamanaga. It's going to be a thing. But to Josh's point, you got to stay out of foul trouble because if if not, uh, Garcia and Taylor, uh, those guys will absolutely assassinate you if you're not. And that guy again. I'm going to say it. The guards, Wade Taylor the fourth and Tyree, uh, Tyree Radford are just they're they're one of the most unsung backcourts. Uh, in the country, definitely within the big uh, with the SEC, where they're playing it right there. But those guys are lethal. And if you, if nothing else, you better make sure you know where their big forward is. Anderson Garcia is at all times, and you have to put bodies out there. Which meaning, I think Bryce Williams, he's he's going to have to step up, and he's always he always has. But another guy, man, Jamarcus Lawrence. Mm-hmm. 
I, I think Lawrence is one of those guys to where um, he just he, – he, you go back when, when Nebraska played Indiana at Indiana. And obviously, you're not going to have a game like that all the time. But just big critical shots when you need them. He did that going out the stretch. Big critical shots when you need them. C.J. Wilcher's healthy, so that definitely helps you out big time uh, coming, off the, uh, coming off the bench. So that is something I look forward to. But I think my keys for Nebraska are too, very simple. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Those are my three words for Nebraska. Rebound, rebound, rebound. I think another thing you have to look at, too, and something that we haven't mentioned yet, we talk about the turnover issues for Nebraska, how they've you know been there here and there. Mm-hmm. We need points off of turnovers, yeah. right? It's about getting in the passing mm-hmm. lanes. You know, how can be disruptive? You, exactly. How mm-hmm. can you turn one team's mistake into your, you know, into your own points? And they've gotten better at that this year. But can you do it on the biggest stage? And going back to what you said about Kese, mm-hmm. about being a smarter player. Yes. I think for him, the thing we need to look for is I'm not necessarily worried about him chucking up a shot from the logo, but obviously that first three point attempt that he gets, he's he's most likely going to take it. How does he respond? After a good three-point look, that might not go in. Do we see him work inside? Does he keep shooting the three? Because at the end of the at the end of the day, shooters shoot. So will he right. keep shooting it? I, response is a big thing today for Nebraska on the glass against physicality against Texas A and M's mm-hmm. tough guards. How you respond off of turnovers, both on them and on yourself, absolutely. And how you respond if you're struggling on offense. That's that's my. You talk about rebounds. I'm sticking with an R. <laughs> We're mm-hmm. gonna go response. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. We'll say this. We'll get to the women right now, too, Raph, with the women. They take on AM. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this to you guys right now. Okay. Janai Barker, 6'4, sophomore forward, leads AM with uh, 12.2 points a game, 7, uh, 7.7 rebounds per game. Lauren Ware, I'm sorry, Janai Barker, I'm sorry, Lauren Ware was also a teammate. She, uh, with our Logan Nisley, all Big Ten freshmen here at uh, Bismarck, she was teammates with her. She's 6'5. M- Malaya Johnson, Adds a depth to their roster. She's 6'3". 6'3", 6'5", 6'4". Now, here's the thing. They don't shoot. Texas A&M women do not shoot. The Aggies do not shoot very well from the outside. But also, now check this out. But they shut down the opposition from long range, holding foals only 4.7 threes per game, where Ooh. Nebraska's averaging 8.5. So you figure if they slash the Lady Huskers in half, that means Markowski, which Markowski's got to be careful as well, because their big gal in the middle, Janar Barker, she steps outside and shoots outside as well. So, Raph, you look at that. You got Malia, Malia Johnson, who's six three. You got Lauren Ware, who's six five. You got Janai Barker, who's six four. All three are are ones that can shoot outside. She had to be a, 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 be accountable for them, and they play great defense. What are the keys for Husker women, knowing the size advantage they'll probably have, but they also they don't shoot very well. That's the thing. A&M usually, historically has not shot very well. They lost four of their five games coming into the NCAA tournament, but all four teams they lost to are in the NCAA mm-hmm. tournament. Yeah. So keys to the game for that one, Raph. Uh, just fundamentally sound, boxing out. They've got a lot of size, so you've got to stick to your, stick to your fundamentals. Um, I Nebraska, if they can somehow get hot from three land, I mean, I know they, they defend it well, but if, if Jazz Shelley can hit, get a few shots, that'll loosen it up a lot in that middle there, and that'll give Markowski room to work. So hopefully they can they can just get some shots right away that'll loosen up that defense. Here's – and Josh, I want you to say this too before we go to our last break. Yeah, of course. Markowski is, in my opinion, with this because of the height, 6'4", 6'5", 6'3", she's going to have to play a solid game. She cannot get into foul trouble. It is absolutely imperative that she does not get into foul trouble and get them in foul trouble. Now, I'm gonna, that's going to sound very elementary, but there's been times in the past where you've seen Markowski had to go to the bench. No, no, no. We can't afford her to go to the bench other than to get a quick break and to come back in because when you're going against 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, that's, you're going to need Markowski in there big time. And, Raph, to your point, Jazz Shelley, don't settle for the three. Take it to the bucket on them. When you're that tall, they also have a propensity to file out. So go to the bucket. Don't settle just for the three because they're going to defend that like crazy. So therefore, knowing that, dump that thing inside and take it to the hole. Don't settle for the three because, perfect example, flip it back to the men. When we lost to Illinois, the first half they were selling for jump shots and three-pointers, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Second half, they erased a 15-point. It was a 30-point swing because it's, wait a minute, we're just going to take them off the dribble. Exactly. If Nebraska women can do can mock that same game plan, Raph, in my opinion, against AM, they know Nebraska shoots great from the outside. Take them to the cup. 
Yep. I, I'd say the biggest thing, right, when you're looking to draw fouls is you have to sell your shots every time, right? Mm -hmm. Understand you are going to take some hits. I mean, obviously, I think both on men and women's side, Texas A&M is the more physical team any way you look, whether it's out in Oregon or it's out in Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. And you got it. Yeah, like you mentioned, Markowski, draw fouls because you're in a position where all you got to do is show that ball That's and right. they're going to come flying. That's right. And also on the defensive side of Markowski, you might want to wave the white flag a couple times. If you know you're in bad positioning, exactly. let them take let the shot, it. right? Exactly. Just let them don't do it because don't get Markow the trouble. If Markowski goes out, I'm calling it. If she goes out, they lose. Bingo. Real quick before we go to break, A. a. Ron, this is a great point. Annie, Annie Stewart may have to need a bigger role. I totally agree with you on that against the size. Potts will need to use her reach. You're exactly right. And we sure could have used Middleton this year. That's for sure, man. Hey, Aaron, good, inter uh, good insight on that. Folks, we're going to our last break. When we come back, RGT, and then we're taking it out to Buffalo Wings and Rings. We'll be right back. It's the drive, 93.7 a ticket. At Fairway Meat Market, you're family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through March 24th, enjoy Lincoln's favorite 8-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin or 4-ounce fresh salmon portions for $3.99 each. Get ahead for your Easter dinner with Fairway Pit hams, fresh lamb roast, or ribeye roast. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 560-6197. Life is all about balance. So how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. 24-7 threat monitoring, expert tech support, streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security, Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications, cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be ready. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. 
See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. And Empire Fans can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Alcohol has strained our relationship. Drinking too much can cause harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. By drinking less, we will save our relationship. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raf, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Folks, we are back for the very last segment. Raf, we're going to hop right into RGT so we can get out to w, uh, Buffalo Wings and Rings. All right. Right before that, remember Florio's 14th and Pine Lake Road. You can visit floriosne.com or call 402-423-5576. So any basketball needs for food, give them a call. All right. Today's Raph's Good Take goes out to our friend, our brother, one of the best guys we know, David Freehoff. David, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you have an excellent day. Um, if you've ever had the chance to meet David uh, you know that he would give you the shirt off his own back. Mm. I mean, he is just the so kindest, good. coolest. Um, it's just been a pleasure uh, really getting to know uh, David over the last couple of years, you know, being involved with radio station because he is definitely a friend of uh, 93.7 The Ticket. So, David, have a great day, brother, and you are Raph's good take. It's a great uh, Raph good take. It's like I said earlier about the Mannings. You have some cool people and you have some amazing ones, and free off is like a brother. He is one of those amazing ones. Love you, brother. Enjoy your birthday. I know you'll be cheering loud today, my good friend. If it was warm outside, we'd be definitely swinging the sticks and listening to basketball. <laughs> AD Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. ILC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska. Full-time, part-time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at ILC.net backslash careers. Folks, I'm going to say about this morning is stop but don't stay. Stop but don't stay. You know, there may be some times to where you stop to rest, to cry, to be mad, to be pissed, to be angry, to celebrate. But don't stay there because life keeps moving on. So stop, but don't stay. Stop and pray. Stop and think. Stop and ponder. Stop and celebrate. And today, tonight, I want you to stop and celebrate because we got some Husker games. But we can't stay there. Neither can the teams. We want them to keep advancing just like we have to do in life. Raph, take us home, my man. All right, everyone. Only three words for tonight. Go Big Red. Be nice to each other, and we will talk to you on Monday. You big See drink of water. You be safe. <laughs> Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds